Carbonyl compounds such as ketones with an alpha hydrogen are actually acidic on this position because the conjugate base, which is the alpha carbonyl, is stabilized by resonance. Let's draw that scheme, reaction scheme, again. So if this ketone is deprotonated at this position, an alpha carbonyl is formed, which is this one here. This is the alpha uh, carbonyl. Now, the alpha carbonyl can undergo resonance to form the corresponding enolate, as we have seen generally in a previous uh, scheme. So, resonance stabilization of the alpha carbonyl can give the corresponding enolate, whose structure is this. So, this is an enolate, therefore. That's an enolate. And remember, enolates are nucleophilic at oxygen and carbon. Of course, the nucleophilicity of carbon is higher because the C alkylation product is more favored thermodynamically than the O alkylation product, as we have described before. So this is the enolate. Obviously, this is the alpha um, carbonyl. And these conjugate bases of the general compound, the general carbonyl compound with an alpha hydrogen is stabilized by resonance. And that's exactly why our alpha, uh, carbon, uh, carbonyl compounds with an alpha hydrogen um, are actually acidic. For ketones, as we have uh, specified before, BK in general is about 20. So BK here is about 20. So a good question would be, what base can do this deprotonation chemistry? So what base can convert uh, ketones, for example, into the corresponding enolates? Now the base should be of an appropriate strength. And the condition is that the BKA of the conjugate acid of the base, which we should use in order to do this, this deprotonation, should have higher value or magnitude than 20. So let's take an example. So what are these um, uh, substances with a BKA higher than 20? Well, you can think of amines, obviously. BKA, if you take ammonia, for example, okay, BKA is 36. Uh, the BKA of amines in general is about 40. So the, let's draw the structure of amines. Therefore, this is general structure of, of amines. Okay, the BKA here is about is about 40. Recall again the BKA of ammonia, which is 36. So if you want to write ammonia, okay, BKA 36. Now, if amines lose that proton to a strong base, okay, then this conjugate base of the amine is actually formed. If that hydrogen is removed with a suitable base, then that conjugate base of an amine is formed. So this is called an amide ion. Now, if you compare the basicity of this amide ion with the basicity of the alpha carbon ion or the enolate, you would find out that the amide ion is actually a much stronger base. Now, this suggests that the weaker acid, we have, we have the ketone, of course, whose BK is 20, and we have the amine whose BK is 40. Between these two, obviously, the amine is the weaker uh, acid. So the amine, we can describe it as as weaker acid, the ketone is the is the stronger acid, and of course the alpha carbonyl or the enolate is therefore the weaker uh, conjugate base. So this is the weaker conjugate base. The amide ion is the stronger. conjugate base. So if we react the stronger acid, which is the ketone, with the stronger conjugate base, which is the amide ion, this acid-base reaction can take place. So therefore, a suitable base that can deprotonate carbonyl compounds, in this case ketones, with an alpha hydrogen should be an amide. So NR2 in general, an amide ion, 
is a suitable base for the deprotonation of ketones at the alpha position to make alpha carbon ions and therefore um, enolates. This is all due to the BKA, therefore. It's all due to the acid strength. The stronger acid should react with the stronger conjugate base, but not, not vice versa. Um, now, amide ions can be made from amines by reacting amines with very strong bases, and typically those are organolithiums, RLI. RLI is a general uh, formula for organolithiums. Organolithiums can deprotonate uh, amines to make the corresponding amides. Of course, if you take the conjugate base of ammonia and H2 minus the simplest amide ion, that's good enough also to uh, uh, deprotonate uh, ketones or carbonyl compounds at the alpha position. So the suitable base, therefore, should come from an acid whose BKA higher than 20. So this is the base that's required. This is the acid. The BKA here it should always be, if that acid is desired to deprotonate carbonyl compound, the BKA here should always be higher than, than 20. So this is the requi requirement, if you like. Any base um, which, which comes from an acid whose BKA higher than 20 can deprotonate ketones at the alpha position. So amide ions in general, are the suitable bases to deprotonate ketones and other carbonyl compounds of a similar BKA or even higher, slightly higher BKA amide ions can deprotonate such compounds at the alpha position to make the corresponding um, alpha carbon ion or enolates. We have just learned that amide ions are the suitable bases to deprotonate uh, carbonyl compounds such as ketones at the alpha position to make the corresponding alpha carbon ion or enolates. Let's take an example of an amide ion. If you take isopropyl amine, isopropyl amine, remember the BK of amines in general is about 40, so the BK here is about 40, it's 38 actually, 38. If diisopropyl amine is deprotonated, with, with N-butyl lithium, an alkyl lithium, which is a very strong base, this strong base can take off that hydrogen to make the corresponding amide, which is this one here. So it's diisopropyl, this is diisopropyl amine, that's diisopropyl amide, of course there is uh, lithium here as a counter uh, ion. This can also be drawn like this, where there is a covalent bond between lithium and nitrogen. So this is another possibility. Now, this is called lithium diisopropyl amide. Now, there are isopropyl groups on the original amine. The, the amide has two isopropyl groups. Uh, it's an amide now, but it's an amide that's bonded to lithium as a counter ion. So the name of this is therefore lithium diisopropyl amide. Lithium diisopropyl amide. This is abbreviated as LDA. LDA. L comes from lithium D4 diisopropyl and A4 amide. So the name of this amide base is LDA. And the typical base for this, for the deprotonation of carbonyl compounds, such as ketones, for example, is LDA. So that's the structure of LDA. It's an amide base, of course, which is formed if diisopropyl amine is deprotonated with a strong organolithium, such as uh, N-butyl lithium. LDA is a very commonly used base to deprotonate ketones at the alpha position to make the corresponding um, enolates.